Howdy Booktube, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, I wanted to say a quick extra welcome to all the new subscribers that have been flooding in. Uh, I'm very happy to have you here. And so today I wanted to make a little bit of a spotlight on a small publishing house that I really have come to adore. And, you know, they were brought to my attention by somebody on Instagram, and they were so kind to send me the link to their web shop. Uh, I believe the reason that this came up was I was reading uh, J. Mufawad Paul's Continuity and Rupture Philosophy in the Mouse Terrain, and this person so kindly recommended, hey, if you really like this JMP book, you may really like this publishing house. And so I checked them out and ordered a few things, and I've been really living for it. And just recently, uh, JMP released a new book through this publisher, and I also ordered quite a few more things. So I figured I would make this a blend of a book haul and a kind of spotlight on this publishing house. So the publishing house is Foreign Languages Press. And real quick here, I'll read you a bit about their principles. And this can be found on their website page. Their principles are, the Foreign Languages Press is a publishing house founded in 2016. We believe in the necessity of providing the broadest possible access to revolutionary literature at an affordable cost. We publish books based on our understanding of the current needs and challenges that the international communist movement is facing. So they are a Marxist, Leninist, Maoist publisher. Their name, I believe, comes from the old publishing house uh, out of, I believe, either Peking and or Moscow. Don't hold me to that, though. But wow, you know, and they have quite a few different collections uh, that I also wanted to talk to you about. And I have three out of four of their collection. I don't have every single title, but I at least have one title per collection that I have. So the first one here is their Colorful Classics collection. In the Colorful Classics collection, the Foreign Languages Press publishes short but insightful text essays based on a modern and living Marxism to help readers understand critical points of Marxist, Leninist, Maoist ideology. So real quick, I'll go through the titles I have from this collection. So first I have the Marxism, Leninism, Maoism Basic Course Revised Edition. And this was put out by uh, the Communist Party of India Maoist Party. This is the study guide that they use amongst their cadre. Um, also, I want to say real quickly, apologies sincerely for mispronouncing any author names on here. I'm going to work on that. This next one here is Rethinking Socialism, What is Socialist Transition? by Deng Wansu and Pao Yu Ching. And so quickly, this essay answers the question, is China still socialist? And it tries to give uh, an objective analysis of the reasons behind the defeat of socialism in China. Next here, we were just speaking of this party. This is Urban Perspective from the CPI Maoist Party. And it was a document issued in the time of the Unity Congress of the Communist Party of India Maoist. It identifies, analyzes, and proposes solutions to the recurring weaknesses of the Naxalite movement in India, and so on. The next few here, I'm just going to go guns a real quick. This is Strategy for the Liberation of Palestine from the PFLP. Fedai guerrillas speak on armed struggle in Iran. Stand for Socialism Against Modern Revisionism by Armando Lewinag. Sorry. Philosophical Trends in, Femi in the Feminist Movement by... Arundhata Gandhi. The next collection here that Foreign Languages Press has is their New Roads collection, in which they publish original works and essays that analyze the challenges and answer the questions posed by Marxist and Leninist Maoists today and shed light on lesser known aspects of the history of the communist and workers' movement. Now, from the colorful collections, I've only read one, and that was the MLM basic course. For the two that I have in New Roads, I've read both of them and I absolutely adored them to death. So this one is a new release that came out uh, about 
two months ago almost from J. Mufawad Paul. This is his work Critique of Maoist Reason in where he does a in-depth analysis of the tendencies and trends within Maoist thought. And so the heart of this work is really about thinking thought and thinking it clearly and all the way through. And it's just, it's fun. <laughs> it's really fun. And uh, if you're intrigued about this title, specifically uh, Rev Left Radio, good old Rev Left, a staple here, uh, did a great interview with JMP about this particular work. And you could find an interview from Rev Left with him on almost all of his works. So be sure to check that out. So this is Critique of Maoist Reason. And the next one I have is Mao Zedong's On Contradiction, the study companion from the Red Spark Collective. And so this contains Mao's On Contradiction, but what makes this the study companion is, so you'll have Mao's essay here, and uh, on the other side, you'll have the Red Spark Collective helping provide clarifying insight, uh, modern examples of certain issues that Mao talks about in the essay. It's really helpful, and I really hope they come out with more study companions like this. The next line from FLP is their works of Maoism. And so it's essentially a collection that releases compilations of the most important documents of the international communist movement. And what I have from that collection is the selected works of Mao, Volume 6. And they have some new releases that just dropped today that I'll talk about at the end of this video. So this is a good 400 plus pages, yeah, of Mao's selected works. The first five volumes are extremely unaffordable and very hard to find. So it's very nice to see these coming out from FLP. And lastly, they have their Foundations collection, which they say, from the times of Marx and Engels to the death of Comrade Stalin, this collection is an invitation to study the foundations of Marxism. So they have pretty essential texts such as Stalin's The Foundations of Leninism, Rosa Luxemburg's Reform or Revolution, and Marx's Wage Labor and Capital and Value, Price, and Profit. And so now we've covered, you know, the gist <laughs> of FLP. I want to tell you about the new releases that came out that I'm very excited about. The three new releases that dropped today from FLP is the seventh volume of Mao's Selected Works, Basic Principles of Marxism-Leninism, a Primer by Jose Maria Cizon, and Engels, uh, Socialism, Utopian, and Scientific. So I know what I'm doing after this video. Um, I urge you, if you are interested in this type of stuff, go ahead and check them out. Their titles are extremely affordable, as I'm sure you've seen through the images and video I provided. Uh, they are based in France, and so depending on where you are in the world, it may take longer or shorter to get here. Uh, for me in the U.S., in the specific region I'm in, usually takes about a month, a little over a month or so, which really is not bad at all. And, you know, we need to show these small publishers some love, so... I'm very happy with my current haul, and I'll be busy for a little bit, and naturally, I'll add more to that list here very soon. But I just wanted to say thanks, folks, for tuning in, and uh, look forward to more content here coming soon. I know I've been kind of struggling with that a little bit, but I think I'm kind of getting back into the swing of things. So thank you so much, and until next time, peace.